is that as you work on stuff, if, you're, if your focus is to try to get really legato, quick left hand movements, moving like that, just getting the hands used to navigating that, because you are going to have to. So that's one of the few technical exercises that actually kind of makes sense to do, you know, uh-huh. just as being just a blatant non-musical exercise, right? Right. Other than you're playing legato. So you think, uh, I mean, maybe just it would be like a good exercise to run, like with each finger one at a time maybe? Yeah, because there's going to be situations when you have to do that. Now, there are other ways to navigate that, that same situation we'll talk about in a second. But there are going to be times where you're going to have to – Maybe not just like this in the exercise, yeah. but to where you're going to have to actually have that finger move from string to string, and you want it as legato as possible. Right. That's going to happen. All right? Now, getting back to the practice timing, is that you were talking about calling out note names. That's uh-huh. not a good idea. The reason is, is because you want your focus here on... Hmm legato if i'm sitting there g g c f B, if i'm thinking about that and also my focus is taken away here right. so in any area that you practice you're going to have different g i call it the practice diamond but it can be different multi geometric shapes depending on how many sides to an issue you have but the point would be is that if you want to make this a note name exercise don't worry about the legato part focus on the note name part Right, I see. Right? So work on this side of the diamond. And then when you work on this side of the diamond, don't worry about the other sides of the diamond because they're not, all this is going to be a work in progress, right? Right. So if I'm focusing on this side of the diamond, then this may, and this may suffer a little bit. It may be a little scruffy, you know, and not as tight and precise as I want it to be. But I'm not working on that now. I'm working on here. I'm working on here. So let the folk total focus be here in the development of that. And then, then, you know, circle around the diamond. That's a good idea. I feel, yeah, I feel like I sometimes suffer from that. Like I'm almost like half-assing everything at the same time just because I'm trying does, to like get it, all the pieces the in place. The retention just doesn't same work time. that way. You know, you, it, yeah. and that, I mean, we'll get back to the, remind me about the different ways to do the, the same fret stuff. But, yeah, sure. It's very important to organize your practice because there's so much stuff to work on. It's impossible and counterproductive to try to do everything on everything every day. It's just not going to work, right? Yeah. So I cycle rotate my practice. Now, this, the details of this are not important, but the, this is my practice schedule. Hmm. Wow. A massive amount of material. Yeah. I couldn't do all that in one day if I tried. All right? So the point is, is that if I say, okay, I look and see what's next. And then I go, okay, that's where I left off. And then I, you know, I practice and check off what I did. And then I go to the next thing that's next. And then I just cycle back to the beginning and I cycle rotate through the material. Right. Yeah, that's something.